Brought to you by Pell's Radio Appliance and TV. Finest service after the sale. Now from TV Cadillac, this is Local Edition. Hello and thanks for watching this TV Cadillac Local Edition. I'm Eric Watilla. Well, one business in Cadillac recently worked with a local animal shelter to help some pets to find good homes. TV Cadillac's Benjamin Ari has more details about why events like this are so important to the shelter. Benjamin? Eric, the Masaki Humane Society is overcrowded with pets looking for families. The shelter recently spent a day at Tractor Supply in Cadillac, where they offered numerous animals for adoption. We've got uh, the Masaki Humane Society here uh, with an opportunity of adopting some animals, some cats and dogs that they brought down here today. The Masaki Humane Society offered about six animals for adoption during an event held at Tractor Supply on March 29. While there were only a few animals up for adoption at the store, the Humane Society cares for dozens of pets. We have 43 dogs and we have probably about almost 20 cats. With so many animals up for adoption, the Humane Society has reached its capacity. The overcrowding is really a big, big issue with us right now. Although overcrowding is a major issue, the Humane Society hopes that events like their recent visit to Tractor Supply will encourage animal adoption. Those at the shelter say it's a simple process, and one that can help keep the animal's population under control. It's very straightforward. You fill out an application first, and then we have you fill out an adoption form and a spay and neuter form if they are not spay or neutered. We are trying to make it so that we can have everybody spay and neutered before they're adopted. While encouraging people to spay and neuter their pets can help prevent unwanted animals from ending up at the shelters, pets already at the Humane Society looking for homes can look forward to a bright future. While they're here, we give them the most love that we can, and we play with them and we care for them the best that we can. Now, the Masaki Humane Society is a no-kill shelter, so unlike some animal shelters, they won't put animals down even if they have spent a long time at their facilities. I'm Benjamin Ari reporting for TV Cadillac. Now back to you, Eric. Well, thanks, Benjamin. Coming up next on Local Edition, one coffee shop in Lake City regularly hosts some interesting musicians. More details are coming up next. Stay with us. And welcome back to Local Edition, I'm Eric Watilla. Well, if you're in Lake City on a Saturday afternoon and are looking for something to do, one local coffee shop is there for you. We opened Baked Beans just because we wanted to have something to give back to the community. From the start, the Baked Beans coffee shop was designed to be a community gathering place. As part of that goal, the coffee shop features live music from a variety of artists every Saturday. It's every Saturday from 3 to 5, and again, it's all different kinds of artists. You know, today we had Mike, who does blues. One week we might have um, somebody like Samantha Robbins, who's a youth in Manton, and she'll bring in tons of, you know, kids in here. We've had anyone from, you know, Seth, Bernard, and Daisy May. Um, you know, so it's been just a little bit of everything. And for more information about the music offered at the coffee shop, you can contact Baked Beans at bakedbeanslc at yahoo.com or call 839-839. 7704. And that does wrap up this TV Cadillac Local Edition. I'm Eric Quotilla. Thanks for watching. If you have a news story you think would be of interest to the community, email us at news at tvcadillac.com or call 842 0188.